Both drivers now, full stage. Good line, both sides. Lacey Boswell, 004, Keelan Keys, 13 on the tree. Top end. Give it a Boswell. 805 on the three, 13 off on the dial. Going to go with the 17 pack there for Boswell. Keys a couple numbers off, goes 89 on the 82. Let me get sixth round of foot break to lanes five and six, please. Once again, ultra trailer sales foot break to five and six. Again, ultra trailer sales foot break to five and six for sixth round. So Peyton Bunch left side, Tyler Sandy here on the right lane. Sandy down 794. Bunch down 829. Tyler Sandy, unusually late. Peyton Bunch all but has this one and is going to take a 002 on the tree. Uh, Sandy, again, late. Was dead two of the top end. Still had a bunch to play with was Peyton Bunch. Kobe Tolliver, left side, 790. Right side is going to be Mallory Dietz. Dietz, the beginner winner, down 1218. Tolliver down 790. All right, light star for Kobe Tolver by five thousandths of a second. Mallory Deeds actually chopped the tree down ten on the reaction time. How about dead one eleven pack there for Mallory Deeds? Great run. Shout out to all of this weekend sponsors here at Maryland International Raceway for the Toll Plumbing, King of the Creek, of course. Tony Toll with Toll Plumbing, title sponsor for this weekend's event, and also the live stream sponsor here for Motor Mania. Atlantic Scale Company for Top ET Ultra Trailer Sales for Foot Brake. Hub of Motorsports for the Junior Dragsters. Manly, Mickey Thompson, Jessel, Select Performance Transmission Converters, 540 Outlaws, Drag Race TV, Function Enterprises Incorporated. Hopefully everybody's been able to get a hold of A.J. Pender and A.J. Pender Snapshots for their official event photography. Of course, Daryl Jackson been helping them out today and yesterday. My man's out there wearing a hoodie. I'm pretty sure it's still 115% humidity, but okay. As he's down there smiling because he's listening to me talk. <laughs> Now he's going, shut up, Higgins. And, of course, the hard work and crew behind the scenes with Motor Mania, the track staff here at Maryland International Raceway, and, of course, No Limit Promotions. And, of course, all the racers. Uh, I know my counterpart, TJ, already out here, TJ Jordan, but I uh, can't thank him enough for being up here with me this weekend. 
and especially today, definitely uh, carried carried me today. That's definitely for sure. So a big shout out to him also. So as the night continues to wind down, we'll be giving out some big checks here. Until then, we'll sit tight and wait for the next group to get on back. Again, Top ET, you should be in one and two foot break. We've called you back to lanes five and six for your round number next. All payouts are over in suite 103 and payouts in suite 103.
Here we go, a little bit at the top. ET action, $10,000 still up for grabs here with the Atlantic Steel Company, top ET. Jeff Sarah coming up left side, Kevin Roof here on the right side. Jeff Sarah going to be dialed 456, Roof going to be dialed 464. Three stage bulbs on for both drivers here. Is anybody Hubble Motorsports Junior Dragsters back to lane eight, please? Hubble Motorsports Junior Dragsters, lane eight. Oh, Jeff Sarah has got a bunch in the pocket off the tree and is going to take the round win here. 003 on the reaction time compared to Kevin Roof's 31 line was dead one up at the top end roof. But again, Sarah will up in the throttle a couple times, knocks it down to a 58 with a one on the 56. Ain't that with the stripe taking it? Cord Glitty coming up left side, the 2018 American chassis, 473 on the dial. Right side is going to be Mike Barber. Barber's going to be dialed 598. Two thousand got three for advantage to Galitti. Win life though, the Mustang, the Barber machine, going to be moving on. Dead zero, 10 on the tree for the 10 pack. Galitti was 008 on the tree, dead four for the 12 pack. Again, Barber taking the round win. Carolina McCartney, the wheel standing Rambler, taking on Marty Martin. Tough matchup here. Wheels up for McCartney. Advantage going to the Rambler. 007 to the 11 line, top end, win line. Coming on for Marty Martin. Dead on with a six. For the 17 pack is McCartney. Runs uh, one off the number 603 with a nine on the 02 dial. 007 on the tree. But again, it will be Marty Martin moving on to the next round. Once again, juniors, lane eight, please. Juniors, lane eight.
All right, going back over to the Ultra Trailer Sales Mod ET. This is, or pardon me, foot break. This is six round eliminations. Next round will be the semis for them. So Cross Jr. left side, David Saunders right side. And Saunders in the lights, cross the scene. Right line start there for Saunders. Steve Cross Jr. moving on to the semifinals. As Jake Milstead coming up your left side, right side is going to be Joe Dedrick. Dedrick down 548, Milstead 596. Great matchup here on the starting line. Both drivers full stage. Lights coming down. Green lights for Milstead and a red light for Dedrick. So Milstead, I believe with that pass, does take over the points lead in the Mon ET program for the championship hunt. So Mike Garner is going to get the buy run. He'll break the beams and roll it on back. Let me get my top and mod final uh, semifinals back. Lane's top. You're going to be over in one and two. Monty T five and six. Let's get in top semis. One and two. Mod semis five and six. A lot of honey still up for grabs. We're in top semis and mod semis. Come on back. Top and one and two. Mod five and six. All right, so racers out there, just want to let you guys know that uh, if you're still hanging out, you're welcome to do so. We're not going to close up the highway gates tonight. So if you want to stay, get a good night's rest before you roll out in the morning, you guys are absolutely welcome to do so. So I uh, just finished talking with the boss man on that. And if you do want to stay overnight, you guys are absolutely welcome to do so. A lot of racing done this weekend. Great racing. And a little bit of a hot one today. More so yesterday, it felt like, than today. But still pretty toasty. 
So again, if you guys do want to stay overnight, you are absolutely welcome to do so. If you want to roll out in the morning, just want to give you guys that information. So you guys can kind of make a final decision on what you'd like to do. Once again, top mod semifinalists, come on back. Again, top and mod semifinalists, come on back. All right, everybody, remember when you dropped off your tech cards? That's where you're going to go to go get your paychecks. It's going to be Sweet 103. Let's go semifinals here for the Hub Motorsports Junior Dragsters. Kelsey Brinkman, left side, 798, right side, going to be Mallory Dietz.
Let's see, Kelsey Brinkman, what will her tree look like? Advantage, going to Brinkman. This strife is where it matters. Wind line, Brinkman. The nine-year-old Dietz, fourth out quick up at the top end of the racetrack. Still going to be proud of what she's done today. Tough competition all day long for the nine-year-old. Taking on the 18-year-old here, Brinkman is going to be going to the final. As your final pair, paint and bunch left side, Lacey Boswell right side. Three stage bulbs on for bunch. 829 on the dial, Boswell going 804. Top end of the racetrack. Wind line coming on for Peyton Bunch is going to the final against Kelsey Brinkman. All right, here running for a thousand dollars. Let me get my junior finalists back to the lanes, please. Junior finalists back to the lanes. You know where to go. Junior finalists back to the lanes. Play eight.
All right, looks like we're actually going to be changing up the run order just a hair. Altered trailer sales, foot brake action. Two grand upper grabs. There'll be two regulars here at Mailer National Raceway getting ready to go at it. As it's going to be Steve Cross Jr., left side, the 89 Mustang, Mike Garner in the Chevy Deuce. Rolling to the water box, getting ready to light the hives here. So Steve Cross Jr., dialed 609, left side in the 89 Mustang, Mike Garner the Chevy Deuce, right side dialed 618. Pre-stage bulbs on for both drivers. Bumping in is going to be, looks like Garner potentially first as his car is the one bouncing right now. Steve Cross Jr. goes right in. Cross. Get crossed up, it looks like. It's going to be Mike Garner taking this one. 619 with a 6 on the 22 late. Steve Cross had a 77 light. He's going to finish... In the semis, is, it looks like it's going to be Jake Milstead. Right side. I was actually kind of taking a look at everything. Actually, uh, Milstead, I know, I think I made a comment earlier about Milstead possibly taking the points lead. That was with the other number if he had that one still in competition. But he's going to break the beams here with the MX-83 number and roll it on back and wait for his opponent to come on back. All right, here we go. Top ET, Atlantic Scale Company, Top ET semifinals. Going to be coming at you. $10,000 up for grabs. And these drivers racing for a shot at the finals. All right, here we go with the semifinals. Jeff, Sarah, Marty Martin. Which racer is going to be taking on the Barber Machine? So the one thing I can tell you, we are going to have a door car versus a dragster going to the final. Here at Mailer National Raceway for the $10,000 win, we'll call it the cool down race. Marty Martin, Napa side of the racetrack, 04 Race Tech chassis, 486 on the dial. Jeff Sarah, another Race Tech chassis out of Pennsylvania, 456 on the dial for this machine here in the semifinals. Race Tech on Race Tech, Mustang in the water box with the by rod. Martin in the full stage lines, waiting on Sarah. Start line advantage going to Marty Martin. 
Top of the range track, win line, giving to Marty Martin, going to the final here, 002 on the tree, one off the number for that machine, as Jeff Sarah was 20 on the light and pretty much out of it early. Mike Barber, right side, and the Mustang going to get the solo run, and he'll be taking on Marty Martin in the final. Mike Barber, Marty Martin, need you two up here. Also, Peyton Bunch, need you up here, please, for your finals. Peyton Bunch, Mike Barber, Marty Martin, need you guys up here, please.
Once again, Mike Barber, Marty Barton, again, we need you up here, please. Two, again, my two top ET finalists need you up here, please. One last shout out, of course, to all of this weekend's sponsors here at Mail International Raceway Toll Plumbing for being the event sponsor for the Toll Plumbing King of the Creek, Atlantic Scale Company for Top ET Ultra Trailer Sales for Foot Brake, Hubble Motorsports for the Junior Dragsters, Manly, Mickey Thompson, Jessel, Select Performance, Transmission Converters, 540 Outlaws, Drag Race TV, Function Enterprises Incorporated, of course, Toll Plumbing for being the live stream sponsor also for this weekend's race. All the media, of course, with A.J. Pender over at A.J. Pender Snapshots, Daryl Jackson helping him out, Motor Mania. And, of course, the hard-working staff here this weekend. With the MDIR staff and Olympic Promotions, it's been a huge weekend. The racers turning out in full force for this weekend. Thank you guys so much again uh, yesterday. A lot of racers. I believe it was over 700 entries after the reentry round. And even with today, I believe we were still over 600. So, again, the turnout's fantastic. We love having all the racers here that came out. You guys have been awesome. We had racers parked literally everywhere on the property. But it sounds like the Hub Motorsports Junior Dragster is going to be coming up momentarily for the final as we start to wind down all of this weekend's action right here at the Toll Plumbing King of the Creek at Maryland National Raceway. And, of course, in hopefully a couple minutes, I'll be able to kind of give the announcement officially of who the King of the Creek Racers are here at MDIR. Hubble Motorsports Junior Dragster final coming up here with Kelsey Brinkman and Peyton Bunch. Peyton Bunch, 15 years old on the left side, down 827. The 18 year old of Kelsey Brinkman, the 2005 Lightning Junior Dragster, sitting in the water box as both these drivers going for that $1,000 purse.
Final adjustments being made before the fight happens on the 8th mile strip here at MDIR between Peyton Bunch and Kelsey Brinkman. Bunch into the pre-stage lights. Brinkman in the pre-stage lights. The runs are set. The downs accepted. And the fight begins on the strip here at MDIR. $1,000 on the line. And the advantage on the tree going to Brinkman. 3.30. Eighth mile strike. On the... Wow, off. It's going to be Brinkman taking this one. 801, 640 on the tree. Bunch was right there with her. But it will be Kelsey Brinkman, your winner tonight. And the Hubble Motorsports Junior Dragsters $1,000 race. Congratulations, Kelsey Brinkman. Your winner here today. And the first winner, actually technically second winner of the day. So Lizzie Finnamore, Kelsey Brinkman, your two winners of the $1,000 race this weekend. Mon E.T. final coming up here with a pair of regulars at Maryland National Raceway. Mike Garner, Jake Milstead, two very tough competitors racing for $2,000. So Gardner in the Chevy Deuce, going to be down 619. Jake Milstead down 598. Stage lights on for Garner, wasting no time as Milstead inches the car forward after the pre run checks. The 85 Mustang, the 67 Chevy, Chevy versus Ford, right here on the starting line. Have the toll plumbing, King of the Creek. Pre stage bulbs on now for both drivers. Milstead's in. Waiting on Garner. Garner's in. Green lights both sides. 1,000 separation. Advantage to Milstead. Top of the racetrack at the stripe. It's going over to Mike Garner. Dead on with a zero for the win. And two grand richer in the Chevy News. Congratulations, Mike Garner. Your winner here tonight with the Ultra Trailer Sales foot brake.
as the top ET final. $10,000. The final run of the weekend. Rolling around into the water box. Door car versus dragster. So Marty Martin coming up right side with the 2004 Race Tech chassis. The local man at a little plate of Maryland. Trying to defend the home turf, 484 on the dial. Left side, the door car, the 92 Mustang. Mike Barber out of Royersford, Pennsylvania. Sitting 598 on the dial. So Barber will be the lead car. Martin the chase car. If you're out there and you're betting, you better place them now because it's going to be a good one. Lights are coming down. Start line advantage. Going to Marty. Top of the racetrack. Wind light. Throttle game. Marty Martin dead on 816 pack for Marty Martin, your winner to $10,000 right here in the final at the Toll Plumbing, King of the Creek, and the Atlantic Scale Company, Top ET. Congratulations to all the winners this weekend. Alex Bradford, $35,000 between Thursday and Friday. Bobby Spence, Marty Martin, Mike Keaton, Joe Dedrick, Mike Garner, Lizzie Finnamore with the junior program, and Kelsey Brinkman, and of course, Everybody out there that's been tuning in, whether you've been in the chat bleachers, been here in the actual bleachers, or if you've been out in the pits, we appreciate you guys all so much for coming out and hanging out with us. Uh, you guys can be doing anything this weekend. You decided to be here. Hope you guys got to check out some of the great action if you were in the motorhome. They're on the live feed from Motormania. Be sure to subscribe to them, of course, on the YouTube channel so you don't miss a single event. Shout out once again to Toll Plumbing, the live stream sponsor this weekend, and all the other sponsors for everything that they've done this weekend. For all of us here at Maryland National Raceway, I'm Chris Higgins at the booth. My partner, TJ, is on his way back to Ohio. Can't thank him enough for everything that he's done this weekend. He's been great to have, carried me today, uh, so I could have the energy to get through the rest of the night. For those of you guys who want to stay again, you guys are welcome to do so. For everybody that's driving home, we'll see you guys next time. Get home safe, and good night.